Hello and welcome to a very dramatic night at the coast. Just look at that dramatic sunset behind me right now. It is already golden hour, so I'm not gonna spend too much time sitting speaking to you. I'm gonna get my camera out and I'm gonna get going, but this is looking exciting. I'll explain what I'm doing once I'm set up. So the sunset tonight is turning out to be incredible as I'd anticipated when I arrived here. And how I anticipated that, for anybody who wants to know, is there's this big bank of clouds right above me going right down to almost the horizon, but the horizon is open and clear so the sun is able to pop through it, which means we've got this dramatic clouds above me, but we've got that orange glow as well popping through the bottom of them as it's setting towards the horizon. I have to say the clouds are moving towards the horizon, so that gap is getting smaller by the second. I'm hoping it's gonna hold out so that we get that really fiery orange glow right before it dips below the horizon. But as you can see just now, it's half an hour until the sun officially sets and we've got this gorgeous orange glow coming out from below the clouds just now. And I'm capturing that just now with this pool of water in front of me. I've got my ultra wide angle lens on. I've got a polarizer. I'm not completely getting rid of the glare on the water because I want that for the reflections, but I'm just taking the slight edge off of it. And I've got an ND medium graduated filter, which is allowing me to get the exposure of the sky in line with that of the foreground. And so far, I'm really liking this. I've got a lovely foreground interest with this pool of water. The wide angle lens is allowing me to emphasize that pool of water so it's dragging it out and making it look bigger and more grand than it really is and emphasizing that and then we've got that gorgeous sunset behind it so yeah this is my first image of the night my dad has just stood in my frame over there because i've got such an ultra wide angle lens i don't think he realizes in my shot but actually i'm going to put both the images up one without him and one with him because he actually adds and shows the scale of this place which as I say is emphasised with the ultra wide angle lens. So as quickly as the sun came, it ended up going again because those clouds were moving so quickly. 
I kind of hoped, I've put on my, my long zoom lens and I'm kind of hoping that there's a slight band left right at the bottom of the horizon or top of the horizon should I say. But I'm hoping the sun might just pop out at the last minute and we might get that nice golden ball. But those clouds are moving so fast it's really not looking likely. I'm going to sit it out though and see what happens. But I think if it doesn't happen, tonight's another example of how you really need to be in it and out early to ensure that you get the shots because literally that sunset lasted a matter of five ten minutes and the sun hasn't even officially set yet and it's already been smothered by the clouds so if i hadn't have been here as early as i was i would have missed those photographs that you've just seen but yeah i've put my like i say my zoom lens on now i'm going to sit it out and just see if we get a last slithering of light just before the sun officially sets but it's really not looking likely spoke too soon, the sun is now coming out from underneath the clouds and the photo opportunities I'm getting right now is just incredible. To top it all off, I'm getting some birds flying through too so I might even get some interesting shots off this with some birds like I spoke about in the last video. Oh, just look at this, it's incredible. that turned out to be pretty special in the end that beautiful ball of sunset light as it went below the horizon and I've got to say we've actually had that a number of nights this week when I've been out doing my retreat but uh, we've had sunsets like that all week and I just think it's incredible and you only really get that in the summer that lovely big ball of light as it's going down uh, underneath the horizon I guess how I wanted to end today's video was to say to you basically I never leave the house without this lens anymore. So this is my 24 to 200 millimeter lens. I made a video about it when I first got it just to see how versatile it is and how I absolutely love it and kind of wish I'd owned it sooner. And tonight kind of proves why I never leave the house without it. So my purpose tonight was to come down here and do those ultra wide angle shots to emphasize these rock pools with the sun setting behind it, which is what I started off this video doing. But as the night progressed, and that started happening with the, the ball of light. If I had used my ultra wide angle lens, that ball of light would have been tiny in my frame and it just wouldn't have been able to have been captured. But luckily, I had this lens with me, which meant I was able to change it and get those images at the end, which I don't think I'm 100% happy with, but it was an incredible moment and being able to capture it on camera is, is amazing. So like, I think, one thing I want to stress at the end of this video, it's good to go out regularly and challenge yourself with one lens, but when you can, if you've got a lens that's as versatile as this 24 to 200 millimeter, it should pretty much always be in your bag because you never know when you might need this. And having a zoom lens with you allows you to capture so much more and adapt to the conditions that happen before your eyes. You may go out with a certain shoot and a certain image in mind, but if something happens like that happened tonight, I would never have been able to capture that if I didn't have this in my bag. I just want to stress that, the fact that I never leave home really now without this lens. And if I have to go out with only one lens, I always choose this one because it's got that range. And uh, like I said, tonight showed the importance of coming out with it and not leaving it at home, despite my aim being those wide angle shots. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.